Hi everyone and welcome to episode 11 of Can I Do It Better with AC Milan. So there's quite a lot to talk about in this particular episode as we uh, come to a bit of a conclusion. We've got one more episode to go, but um, if you recall the last time that we were together when we played our Juventus Italian Cup final and beat them, we then followed it up with a, the similar 1-0 win in the league as well. It was, it was a really good back-to-back -back couple of games that, which sent us on a bit of a run for a few games against Chelsea and Bologna. Um, we both we got our victory in the first leg of the Euro Cup, the Europa League tie against Chelsea 3-0, which was great. And then there was an absolutely mental game of football, 4-4 against Chelsea in the second leg. Now, whilst we never quite looked in danger because of our 3-0 win in the first game, it was just a completely nuts game of football. Four, four goals apiece, eight goals in total. It was just, I don't know how else to describe it other than it was just absolutely mental. Um, but what it means is that we did go through because of the first game uh, primarily, which was really encouraging. Although um, we did get four away goals, so that would have helped us as well. But yeah, the 3-0 win in the first game meant that we go through. And therefore, we do play the Euro Cup, the Europa League final against Benfica. If we go and have a look at them in their Portuguese league, can we see where they're at? No, we haven't got it loaded up, unfortunately. I didn't load too much up. But yeah, we get Benfica in the um, final of the Euro Cup, which is brilliant. So that will conclude the series. We will come back in the next episode and play that. And I will uh, wrap up the last couple of games off screen in terms of the Serie A. But let's go and check out where we're at with that. We have to play Roma today. So if we go and have a look at the, the league table, um, you can see that we're sitting in fourth place. We've now beaten the points tally that AC Milan in real terms got during the 2018-19 season. They got 68 points. We're on 70. We're currently sitting in fourth place. They finished in fifth. So if that's where it stays, then we will have achieved both of our goals in terms of getting a better points total and getting a, a better placing in the league. So that would be encouraging. Although, you know, if we were to lose to Roma today, for example, then the, um, the fourth, fifth place might become a bit of an issue. So yeah, that's I mean that's where we're currently sitting. You can see that when we beat Juventus, etc., they've gone on a little bit of a dip, and now Lazio are sitting three points clear of them. Although Juventus have a game in hand, the goal difference is very close, though. Um, I don't quite remember in terms of the rules of Serie A how things are decided in that manner, but it's very close at the top for that. We're a little bit off the pace, um, you know, nine points behind Lazio as it currently stands. Um, but I'm, I'm happy enough as to where we are currently. Um, I think that was a pretty good achievement. So in terms of the the um, game for today, as I say, we've got Roma. They're sitting in eighth. They are going to cause a bit of a, uh, a challenge to us, I would imagine. Um, but if we can win this particular match, I think that almost secures fourth place because the last couple of games, Chievo and Empoli, you can see they both sit... Uh, 20th and 19th in the table so you would hope that we would get the points there so important game just to secure the fourth place we've got the Euro Cup final coming up in a, a little while so that will be next episode but let's go and check out the team for, for for today's game we can go full bore on this one really because I would suggest that we might be able to rest a couple of players if need be in one of the next two games before the Euro Cup final so um, in terms of today's game the only player out really is Donnarumma and we've got Piatti coming back from his little knock so he's not quite ready yet either but the rest of the, the squad are, are doing pretty well and they've all played recently. So, you know, they're all in decent condition, mostly a couple of slightly lesser conditioned players because of the last match. But, you know, that's what a 4-4 game against Chelsea does to you. Um, so in terms of today's team, it's Reina in goal, Conti at right back, Rodriguez at left back, Caldara and Romagnoli in the centre of defence, Biglia is the deep line playmaker, Kessie is the box-to-box -box midfielder, Kalinoglu is the attacking midfielder with Suso on the right, Bonaventura on the left and Higuain up top, pretty much as we've played for quite a lot of this season. And everybody else other than Donnarumma and Piatti is on the bench. So let's get into today's game and see what happens. So in terms of team talk, I've suggested to the team that the recent standings and the form guide of Roma in seventh place, whilst we're in first place, our form has been amazing. So let's show them why that's the case. 
didn't get too much of a response but nonetheless that's what we've done so we'll go into kickoff obviously Roma are, are playing at home which you know makes them even harder opposition I would suggest most home teams have a bit of an advantage don't they but here we go on the first highlight Suso on the edge of the box and powers the shot past the goalkeeper I would say the goalkeeper would probably be a bit disappointed with the, the strength of his hands there um, the corner comes to the edge of the box cuts it into his left hand uh, left foot and really should have done better on the in the handling from the goalkeeper but he couldn't quite manage to tame the shot and it goes in for a 1-0 lead here they come now Roma in response down the right hand side they cut it centrally and have a long shot themselves but there you go that's Rayner pushing it wide and, and away for a corner now you know he could have potentially held it but nonetheless he stopped the, the goal from happening so that's encouraging off the corner the highlight dies eventually um, and they don't trouble us really so decent bit of play from us to secure our goal uh, again Roma with the right hand side throw in and build it up from the back down the right hand side come forward up to Dzeko who holds the ball up um, now they move centrally and, and now across to the left hand side uh, oh off the post you could see the goal wide open for him then and he shoots but hits the uh, base of the post and Rayner eventually gets the ball away corner comes in again but we win the loose ball in the sent in the um in our box and we counter attack on them and break quickly down now the left hand side with Rodriguez as if you can hear squeaking in the background it's my puppy playing with a toy apologies for that but Kessie over the top um on this right hand side to Conti Conti with the cross in and oh brilliant follow-up play by Kessie so the original header was won by Roma but it drops kindly in the middle of the box and it's Kessie who powers the ball home nice ball out wide right to Conti Conti with the high cross in um, and yeah it was a lovely piece of play by Kessie uh, I'm gonna have to pause the game in a second I think and just go and take that squeaky toy off my puppy so hang on a second so I managed to take the toy away from my puppy and <laughs> squeaky toys are a bane of my existence at the moment but there we go so let's carry on into this first half half an hour gone I think it's been a fairly good display from us although the suggestion is that they've had far more shots than we have but they haven't really troubled us too much and we go in at half time seemingly with our 2-0 lead which I'm really happy by I think we've done very well to cope with the threat of Roma and then take the chances that we get so uh, I'm going to uh, suggest in the half time team talk passionate that I'm happy with the way things are going keep it up and go straight back out again I think everybody's uh, fit enough to continue for now might have to have a look at them in at about sort of at the 65 70 minute mark and just check them out but Kalanoglu oh did he hit the, uh, the crossbar or was that a save looks like it was a save by the goalkeeper out for the corner kick so Kalanoglu will get another opportunity to put the ball in puts it again onto the edge of the box by Suso and oh that was a great strike wasn't it really but again the goalkeeper got a hand to it uh, Kalanoglu again goes far post this time header comes in from Kessie but safe hands from the goalkeeper this time and the highlight um, is done on that uh, at that point so Cal Caldara at the back for us starts up a another highlight for us hopefully it's for us anyway if we can get it through the Roma side but uh, steadily we bring it forward Kessie um, Biglia and Kalanoglu keeping the ball nicely in central midfield now we go wide left Bonaventura uh, with Rodriguez out uh, further left but he cuts back in or oh, nice sweeping ball there from uh, Kalanoglu to Conti and we work an opportunity for a cross on the right hand side Bonaventura but the header was slightly uh, far out wasn't it to this left hand side and he couldn't quite get the header back on target and it went out for uh, a goal kick in the end a free kick comes in now is there an offside on that one possibly uh, let's have a look and check this as, as we see it I think there's an offside there but we'll just uh, go one more check and, and let the lines show us but it was a decent free kick in but no they gave it I'm sure there was an offside there but I won't complain too much so uh, let's change the subject quickly before the ref hears us <laughs> Ron Magnoli comes forward again another opportunity to build up from the back Bonaventura out left with again Rodriguez further out wide but it goes into Higuain chance for a shot and it's slightly narrowly wide isn't it let's go in and check our players out and see what condition they're in 
mostly they're pretty good. Ron Magnoli's a little bit um, lesser than everybody else. And Suso's picked up a yellow card. So I think we will deal with those. We don't want any issues here. So Sabata can come on and we're going to take Suso off and bring Castillo on just to secure the yellow card. Doesn't get any worse. Uh, Higuain up top is the lower of our... Uh, average ratings for this particular match and he did just miss that chance wide so I'm going to bring Cadroni on and give him uh, sort of a 20 minute run out and see whether he can unlock the defence and um, continue our goal scoring form against Roma which has been really positive in this particular game. So 3-0 up now 10 minutes to go uh, Big Leah picks up a yellow card but there are no highlights. Oh there is a highlight but it's not to us it's to Roma. Can they produce something at the end of it no nope, we get the ball partly cleared but only partly they pick up a loose ball um, we didn't quite have the ability to get it away from our area and they come back again but again a good clearance but again there's a, a bit of a brick wall of Roma midfield players that we're not getting it past and that was a good effort on the far the post wasn't it with a header but a really good save by Rayner he has come in and done so well for us since Donnarumma has been out which is obviously a big blow to lose a goalkeeper like that. But Pepe Reina has just been absolutely magnificent since he's come in. And we get another opportunity to bring the ball forward down the right-hand side with Conti. Long cross, but there's no one there. And it's easy for the goalkeeper. And he can set all the play down and see whether he can counter-attack on us. But he puts it straight into midfield. A bit of danger there. And we do pick up the loose ball eventually. And Biglia puts it out to this wide right uh, left-hand side with Rodriguez. Uh, plays it to Cotroni and back to Rodriguez. And on the far post, Castillo with a lovely uh, volley shot. Brilliant cross came in and it was a lovely finish. So Rodriguez um, puts it into our striker, Cotroni, gets it straight back again and then puts a lovely ball onto the far post. And on the, on the volley, Castillo pushes it nicely, cushions the shot past the goalkeeper who didn't stand a chance. And we are really playing really well at the moment I just hope that the form can continue all the way through to that Euro Cup final because that will be now the key point of our season to see if we can win a bit of European silverware as well and I think we've got a decent shout it's not you know it's not like that we're playing one of the really big sides um, in European terms sorry to any Benfica fans out there but well that's another sh another goal for us. I wasn't even really focused on the game at that point. I thought it was kind of done. But Bonaventura with the um, on down the left hand side. Eventually, Kalinoglu finds it. Catroni moves it onto Ket uh, Kessi, and he powers the shot past a very static goalkeeper. And we've really, really dominated today. I'm really impressed by that. But yeah, as I say, I hope we can keep this form through till the cup final, and, and see if we can bring another bit of silverware home. I've been really, really happy though with genuinely how this series has gone I think you know we've we've performed well we've um, bettered our league placing uh, points at this stage I think we'll better the placing by one uh, we've won the Italian Cup which is something that um, AC Milan didn't do in real terms in the 2018-19 season so that's another thing and now we've potentially got the opportunity to win Euro Cup as well which would just be amazing considering they didn't even get out the group stages in real terms, which is what we had to better. And we've done that ages ago. So let's see what we do here. Um, I'm going to just let the assistants suggest that we appreciate their efforts and keep them all happy and then move through to the news feed and see what they're all saying about our goal glut, really. Well, it's just brilliant. 5-0. Um, I'm just um, um, amazed by the fact that we were able to do that at this point in the season. But yeah, you know, a couple of things. Kessie on form. Under 18's got beaten, unfortunately. Um, but that happens. But there we go. It leaves us in fourth place. Three points clear of Napoli, who are in fifth place. I think we've got a good couple of games to finish the season in Chievo and Empoli. So I've got no real worries about those two games. So I will see you next episode for the Euro Cup final. So if you're enjoying this series, why not subscribe to the channel? It helps you get um, up to date with the videos. If you enjoyed this particular episode, why not chuck a like on it for me? That helps me get seen by others. But if you're playing Football Manager yourself, let me know what you're up to in the save in the comments below. I'm always interested to hear about your saves. But until next time, take care of yourselves. I will see you soon for the Euro Cup final. Bye for now.